Hi everyone, my name is Siege and welcome back to Monster Train. Um, we ended up breaking our, or extending our high score from 6 weeks to 7. That's my new highest so far and we're, I guess, 19 games away from our 25 winning streak series goal. So before I begin... I'd like to share something. I lost some money today and it's, it really bumps me out. I went to the dentist today and brought my wallet with me. And this was my mistake, really. Um, I put some coins into my wallet. And um, the money or the bills, I guess, that were there um, were not tight enough because the coins were bulging up the space for the bills. And I guess it fell somewhere and I didn't notice. So, yeah, I'm a little bit sad there. I just wanted to share. So, um, for Monster Train, yeah, as I mentioned a while ago, we hit seven winning streak here and... We're gonna get, get going to try to go higher in this video. So our goal is the 8th winning streak here. Now, the last, last run that I had for this was an Awoken Hellhorn line. No, a Melting Hellhorn line. That means up next is... Echo right, I believe. I do have three runs here. There. Um, they don't have Covenant 25. The reason for this is I also just did it today. 100% achievement monster train. So that's another achievement though that we have for today. And I'm really happy that uh, there were seeds that were shared that I was able to use online. So yeah. Let's try to secure our 8th win for today. Let's go siege that train. And since we just finished with melting, it's gonna be... Wormkin. Yeah, we finished a little run, little fade run before. So up next is Echo Right. And of course, let's set it to allied clans and let's get back to Covenant 25. As you can see there, we have a 7 win streak currently set up. So let me just double check again real quick just to make sure that we are playing the right champion for today. Uh... Yes, I do believe we're playing the right champion today. It's Echo Right. Yes, and random allied plan. So let's go, guys. Let's secure the eighth win for today. Okay, here you go. We have for today Exile Wormkin, Exile Stygian, with against Talos, Pushback Talos. Summon Fell and Chase Seraph. And our starting cards are very good. I like these cards a lot. Shelter, Perils of Production, you always like this card. The Holdover and this goes nuts. And Soul Siphon, probably most likely for the eggs. We can intrinsic it and hatch faster. And those are our opportunities here based on our starting deck. Now, for the seed generation again, this is my favorite, Divine Boons with Forge. Um, it's safe to take and you do get a few upgrades but they're fairly manageable so that's fine. Now, for Ring 2, game is lining us up with an Umbra Banner and Merchant of Steel. On the other side, you have Merchant of Magic and Wormkin Banner. Now, considering our cards, because there we have good cards, there is a 20 consume for Plinks, 
minus ones, probably on echo breaks. And we do have something to put freeze stone in. Double stack is also good for shelter. I think it's a very strong magic sideline for the first skin. And you want a wormkin banner here, I guess. Now after that, on rig 3, once we check out the unit here, we most probably can go, if we like the unit in ring 2, go to ring 3, Merchant of Steel. If you don't find a unit, you go to the left side, search the Wormkin banner, and then for ring 4, this is a probable decision that we have to make. If we see holdover perils, I think we can go left for the vent. If we don't and we need to slim down the deck, we might go to the other side. There's another Merchant of Magic. We can probably see Holdover if we haven't seen it on Ring 2. Now, Ring 5 is another Steel Shop. Most probably, if we don't get the upgrades we want from Ring 3, it's going to be Ring 5. Uh, ring 6 depends upon if we still need the Merchant of Steel. We can go to the cab. So the trinkets with money, that's a lot. And you have Vortex to clean out the deck. And then ring 7, probably the left side, again for holdover. And for the last side, it's most probably the right side. That's a very strong Merchant of Magic with Hellvent and Vortex. Okay. So yeah, that's our map for today. Let's see what our starting relic is. Okay, concussive coals or firewall? I'm gonna go for firewall because this is 15 extra HP for all succeeding combats and that's very good. Okay, we check our champion. Our champion is for today, Marsh Lord. I think we can play a very good Marsh Lord run because we have two, three consumes already there. Uh, we can hatch the egg fast with it. Not really a fan of Shellsmith if you have Marsh Lord as your first path to take. So let's gonna take that. That gets the boon. And let's take our Ring 1 battle. So the fight here is against Spikes. We have Pink's armor. We can take this. Yes. If we high roll into Siphon and turn 1, we maybe hatch as soon as possible although we don't we don't see it yet so the play here is i guess echo right uh ping in back twice uh and let me hold on to this shelter for now Okay, we see Link. Hopefully we hit. Yes, we hit there. And for, a bo for bottom, let's kill the foot soldier. And let's hit to more cells for extra ember next turn. Now here, we can't hatch. We only have one purple <laughs> but I think we can push this um, maybe put a train steward behind the egg and probably hatch next turn here help link bottom there's a jeweler there can't get this kill. Rage 3 times 2 is 6. We're missing 13. I'll... No. I think I peril. No. We don't peril yet here. So 39. We bounce this off the fire. That's gonna be great. We blink bottom. No. I'll blink top here. I should have blinked top. I haven't hatched the egg yet, so 
We want to do that. So here it's Link. Yes, we got it. Uh, Soul Siphon into Shelter with this Ember below. Okay, we take the win here. Perils at back, double click, and our bog flies deal 32 damage each. Strong. Firewall really helped us there not take any damage. Get the money, and we see a purple echo transfer. This is our pick here for sure. Help us scale the egg and maybe other eggs in the future. Ooh, the decision here Space Prism. Space Prism. Echo Right is a size of two. That means whatever three space unit we get, we can stick into the floor. So I am not leaning into Space Prism here. Uh, Immortal Trade is an overall very good card. Allows us to keep something alive. Although Perils is purple here and that's gonna help a lot with ember with purple generation if we hit merchant of magic although i already have two purples two echo two perils so i think i'm gonna go with the mortal trade here okay now again decision do we go left or right i think it's stronger if we go right here so let's go there. Check the magic shop. Remove consume. Shelter, maybe? No. I'll put a plus 10 in echo break. A minus 1 into that specific echo break. Let me reroll this shop. And we hit hold over. Now, the question here is do you hold over echo transfer? Or do you hold over peril? The surge stone is a sure pick on one of the flinks. The hold over now is a decision we have to make right now. Uh, hitting perils allows us to spam immortal trade in general. And I think it's a good scaling option for a unit at back. We can use Echo right to tank once he gets upgraded. So I think I'll still go with Perils here. It's a strong pick. Spellchain gets it up and running. And it's offered to us right now. For Echo transfers, sometimes you won't be able to play this if you don't have Purples. Perils is an overall Ember solution. You want that. And the last minus one, I'm gonna put on another Echo Break. We move on from here. Check the Wormkin banner. We have a Keeper of Echoes here. Question is, do we want it? If we take it, we can start upgrading it in the Merchant of Steel. I can drop one of them on the floor. First of kin here does not seem very plausible because we don't have that many consumes. So I guess I'll take Keeper of Echoes here and be happy with that. I'll take the money here so I can buy something in the Steel shop upcoming. Also, reroll it possibly. Give me a unit trial here. Yes, we want this unit trial. Gives us more options. We can fling, we can echo break the unit that might be upgraded. Okay, there you go. Okay. So, here it's gonna be, I think, Keeper of Echoes first. 
into Echo, right? So he tanks for the egg. I am gonna ping this unit at back so that these guys don't just run up to my floor. We see perils now. I perils in front. No, at back. Oh, I I can hatch here. It, it, it's even better. I can play Soul Siphon. There you go. It already hatched. And I think I'm gonna play Peril behind in this game. Ping the conduit behind. Yes. Uh, and then I guess link here and link here. I'll take those. Don't have a damage morsel, so we can take this kill here. So I'll just play this two here and get them killed. The ones that inside are deck for now. Now we just it's a matter of playing perils here. Um are playing the deals one. I think it's echo break into blink. Another ember another morsel. And a blink button hoping to hit those. And I can kill like or I can hit this guy for three. Okay, so here again we ping at back. You play immortal trade in front, perils at back, and you play the strange steward and get it killed. Huh? Then you echo transfer at back, perils at back, ping this guy in front, and play a train steward, deal 8 damage to the steel thing. Now, this is for sure a win. You have, don't have to worry here that much. Link, you shelter for 6, and you take the win here. Very good. Well played on that trial. Okay, we see Bounding Echoes, we click Bounding Echoes. Allows us to purple up our perils. And allows us a lot of purples in this run. You see another perils, it suffered to us twice. We have pinks. I think this space prism is gonna be helpful. It's a consume. It also helps us crack the egg faster. Okay, so here... Hmm. What's the play here? It's never overgorger here, guys. Never overgorger. Uh Inspire plus one is self-scaling option. The good thing about getting sh shard soul carver here is that Tank. What's the play here? I did get a space prism, right? I think we take shard soul carver here. We want a self infuse in e keeper of echoes. He makes keeper of echoes 3 space. 2 plus 3 is 5. I think I'll take Shard Soul Carver here into Keeper of Echoes. That's a good pick. And then we go right for upgrade. Get this HP. Check the Steel Shop. There's a multi strike here. Do I infuse? 
right now? Question. 30 magic power. Where does this go? Nowhere. Um, here, I think it's intrinsic soul siphon. And then we infuse Carver. In, if we infuse now, then that means we don't need... I can't really fit two of them in the floor. So I'll probably go to the Merchant of Magic, tell the Umbra Banner, and then moving forward, it's gonna be Merchant of Magics until we end. Yeah, we infuse Carver into Keeper. That's enough HP. Take the Intrinsic for the Egg. Yes, we can hatch it ASAP. Leave the Spell Power in the shop. Take the Multi Strike here. If I reroll, can I see anything good? There, there's, there might be an overstock there in that shop. I just put a sh damage shield B and be done with steel shop for the rest of the run. There's another one here. Trinket shop here. Magic shop here. Magic shop there. So I think we fully upgrade with um, Echo Right and a Trample Frontline plus only two hits at the back. Am I happy with that? I don't think so. Um, if I reroll. I'll reroll here. There's an endless. Maybe I should have taken the damage shield there, but. Okay. Well. Should have gotten the damage shield. Well, it's okay actually. We make it tiny. And we put a lot of this. No, we create a Keeper, Shadow, Soul Carver, Floor, and we put Echo right in a different floor. That's going to be the play here. Yes. So, sad that we did not get the damage shield. It would have been nice, but we wouldn't have known if it's going to fit. So, I guess it's Magic Shop next. Let's go. We're strong here, so we follow all the do until later. So it's Soul Typhon, Keeper of Echoes, and then Echo Right, and then we ping the egg, and we hatch the egg. Okay, we face Prism top. We ping one of those and we put that in front to get a train steward killed and that's gonna be good okay here it's gonna be um we'll start off with the fling that's good um we place the morsel in Burials the Marcel. Echo break behind the shelter. We get a train steward killed up in the middle. Okay. So we charge top. Kill that to save HP. 
I can play Immortal Trade in front because I'll most probably get Yes, perils here. Purple up our peril. Uh, let me kill this person there. Here and another purple middle. We get that guy killed. We're strong. We just have to navigate this tower until we reach end game. You immortal trade at front, keep him alive. And we're good. You have a 91 hitter behind that strong shelter here. Okay. That's good. Okay. We're strong, guys. We're strong. Wretch. Wretch, wretch. No. Wormkin spike, maybe. Forever consume is just a frontline strong blast. Uh, we can use our ember to go there. I'll take this card here. Tenant piercing makes this very strong. Yes. And we see an egg. But we don't take the egg. We skip here. Now the play here is draw. So yeah, draw it's draw here. Not space. Later on. Okay. I actually think I go right here. I mean left. The Helven is very powerful. I forgot. You want another of this person in there? Cool. Forge says... Return. Bell. What will that be returning for us? Links? It's just Marsh Lord here, I guess. Yeah. Ford says... Actually, I think the play here is Health Banners. Yeah, it solves the issue of seeing two of our keeper echoes in turn one. We have already intrinsic soul siphon for this, so it's gonna be Hell's Banner. Mind Jax is something that you may want to consider. Five space, seven space. Egg is a total of five space. Middle. Makes it six, we can fit one. Hmm. This, how is the mind jack play here? Six space middle can make it seven with the next. Well, it's actually seven with the space prism. Um. Echo. Let me check the logbook here. Let's see how big the egg is. A bog deep cuckoo. The egg is. When it hatches, it's. It's actually three space, and then when it hatches, it becomes four. So it's a six space unit. No, oh, I think it just chills on a different floor against us. Maybe we can play mid with the keepers. It's health banners here, and we move forward. Artifact and heaven seal. I think we skip here. 
we scale fast enough. Hmm. I think we can take. We have intrinsic soul type. Fill it up. Shard Soul Carver in that one. And then you double fling up top with shard. So it's six shells already. Can play the other keeper keeper of echoes here. No. Let's play the two train stewards to get three ember. Yes. No. Wait. Train steward. Another train steward. You blink. You don't hit. Carver up top. Sadly, we did not hit the collector there. That would have been nice. Okay, so it's not the Bounding Echo's turn yet. Um, but I think we're about to see the perils. So it's. 42 plus 10 2 plus 42 No, I think we need to hatch here So it's Burials at back Bouncing echoes Maybe I should have played Face prism instead there I guess it's face prison top. Okay. You see the perils here? Click the perils here. Play these two guys below. The armor up. Okay. Yeah, you can take this. Uh, I think it's a double you here already. Put the mortal trade up front and he lives. Yeah, we take this combat without any issue. At least put the mortal trade up front. Very strong line here, guys. Very strong line. Yep. Uh-huh. The win here. Very strong run. Very strong. Refined Void. Very good. Keeps us afloat. Uh, nothing here. Skip. Do you want the Prism Retrieval? Yes. It's a divine artifact. I'll take divine forever flame here. It's gonna help us with the next combat. Um, do you want to chase removals or do we want the magic shop? Removals are strong. There's a relic there. Magic shop. Freeze. Maybe blink. I'm at 30 cards right now. I get a removal there. Probably the dupe here again. And the removal there. Health is wasted. Money is good. Do you want the magic shop though? Yeah, minus one. I'm just okay. Freeze just right. Not really necessary. 
Yeah, we go right here. Removals are strong. There's an endless there. Jack strips is good. Skills damage shields in divinity. I see a minus two here. There's nothing for that. I see an intrinsic as well. That's a good intrinsic here. Base prism? Prism retrieval? No, it's just a random consume in case we need pull the other tech keeper. Oh. Do we need the intrinsic for anything? Not really. Maybe the perils, but they want the spell chain there. Face prism is echo right. Two. Maybe it's the space prism. It's a consume. It helps me hatch. No. There's no good intrinsic play here. Neither is the minus two gonna be useful. Infusion. No. We don't take any shard here. We remove, though. Train steward. We remove two more. I believe. Cut them out. We don't want them in the deck. It's a four card improvement for us overall. And we skip on these. We don't need them. Intrinsic again. Bonding Echoes. Not really sure I want that. Yeah, let's skip. Let's proceed. I think that was overall a very strong decision to go to the steel shop even though we don't have anything there to take uh, anything from the shop to take the removals are strong it just increases our consistency here so it can i actually do it the other way around like carver and echo Ra carver Be money here for sure. Play the other egg keeper. Face prism. Link top. Echo break into echo stand. We hold on the hatching for one more turn. Uh Link into forever consumed. No, it's just double. It's just playing. Uh, yeah, that's a better play. Get this guy killed. Oh, can actually play it. Amazing. Okay, so not yet for the bounding echoes. Run. Overall, very strong run here. Okay, very strong. Not much to say here, though, guys. So you just click cards until you win. Yes, nine stealth. That's fine.
we have a lot going on for us. Yeah, it's a win. Okay. He doesn't even kill Echo right here. Another purple consume. Ancient Resonance is good. It's an AoE clear. Good plus 30 target. Yes, let's get that. Uh, playable. But no. Okay, the play here is go left. Removals again. Money. Let's check the trinket shop. What do we have? Uh, serrated ma mandibles is good. We reroll. Ooh, there's a hardened hull. But I can't take it. Would have been nice, but we're not really playing with eggs. It's just right. Two firebox, maybe. Boon of the Blacksmith, maybe. We keep our money, we go to another dupe. Uh, the removals here, I think, are. We have another dupe of coming that's the third guy and another dupe in coming four so we have we're gonna have four total keepers i can maybe play them mid removals then are you can see 20 consumes there so i want to keep at least two flinks Two clicks. Remove and remove. Shop. I mean temple. Purge. Minus two. Yes. Want that minus two. Let's take that. And we move on. One hundred over a hundred. Rage. Curse spell. I mean, this curse spell. I think that's what he's called. Oh, yeah, that's what he's called. It's Curse Spell, not Summon Spell. Okay, so here it's gonna be... Soul Siphon, Carver, Echo Ride, Play the Penance. Uh... Blink. Very good Blink. And I guess I pink the boss or do I purple up? I purple up. Yep. Get this guy killed. He doesn't even die. No one's attacking. Another carver. Please have retrieval here. Space Prism. Play out the curse. Okay. Echo transfer attack. I should have not played that. Could have saved 3 HP. That was my mistake there. Oh no, we have Firewall. Forgot about it. Try to capitalize on that firewall then. Play these curses out. They have purple. Great. Hey, strong. Purple. Okay, it's really just an autopilot match from for, for from this point on. Okay, 
Okay, very strong. Okay, just spam the purple. Put this guy in front so he doesn't die. Okay. So overall, guys, if this is a win. Nothing much to say here. Yep. Straightforward run. Okay. Kindle. Echoes of the past. Is that good? It's a scaling card. Yeah, we're not really using the Echoes for anything. It's a good dump for it. And it's Dragon here. Okay, so we go right. Check the shop for anything useful. Another minus two. No. Another purge? No. We're not seeing a spell chain yet. We only have one final chance to make it. There's gonna be a Marsh Lord to be here. Three magic power? It's precious plating here. Okay. So, do I dupe another keeper? Yeah, I think I do. Four of this is very strong. Yes. Another one. Here we go. I can take this. Okay, this time around, I don't think we can fit them all into the floor. So, I'll probably play Echo right middle then here. Yeah, play him there. Play the X Keepers up top. And we're gonna be good with that. Okay, we see Perils. Another keeper up top. Maybe I hold on to Echo Ride and play him after I place all the keepers. Yeah, because I'm getting another one. I can fit him, then Worm Bogdoon comes in. Yeah, I can actually fit them in the floor then. Oh, there you go. We got it. Armor up? No, they still die. So we're gonna lose metal there. So here it. Oh, I'm dying. I'm gonna do this first. We take those. Um, I take a hit. I take the hit here. Link and forever. So a good take here is Cheater's Hand, I believe. That's a card we, I think I want to see. Oh, I can actually use Prism Retrieval and freeze it. Kill those things then. Okay, that's strong. Yeah, that's a good line. I, I want to be able to pull that off.
Okay. Yeah, I like an ancient president here. Okay. So let's just purple up top. More. Okay. Boy, good thing I drew ancient president here. I don't kill the one at back. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I can kill one at bottom. Life still in front. Kill one. And echo in the back. I think this line is strong enough to win, guys. So, what you do here is echo break at back, and then you just. Okay. Okay. So the only problem left here is how do you play? How do you set up the line in general? Soul Crushing Guilt is a good card. Oh. It's this one. Yeah, it's Kavid. Yeah, it's Kavid. You play middle. And you don't have any problems. Hitting all of them can drop the top floor over. So, yeah, I dupe again. Give me spell chain. No spell chain in this run. I'll probably get that minus two then. Merchant of Magic says double stack. Ooh. Damage shield. Okay, we roll. Lightstone casing. What can lightstone casing do for me? Not sure. Don't take anything. Cave in? Minus two? Or just two minus one? Removals here, I think. Let's check the shop. The double stack. I double stack one of the shelters here. No, it's soul crushing guild. What am I thinking of? Purge up link. Minus one. I, I think I'll get the minus two in the shop then. We roll this. Remove consume on. Which card? This goes into ancient resonance, I think. Minus one goes into. Uh, when this echoes of the past, removal two. I don't think we want it. Uh, this light stone casing important. Remove consume and what? It's not the thing here. So. Removals then are these cards go away. So what's left in the deck is one. Oh, it's this guy. This is the first removal. And well, the dupe is another carver. Let's do that first. The removal then is one of the echo breaks maybe or the other peril i think the other perils is good enough it can connect to the second perils if 
they're almost going to be drawn on, on the next draw through. So I think it's Echo Break here. So we don't take the Remove Consume on the shop. We don't take anything here. We take the minus two and the cave in. And he get removals. Um I'm cutting forever consume. So one then. Can cut one more. What card do I want to cut here? Peril? Prism, it's purple, we want it. Uh, I think it's... Because if I already get my... Yeah, so this consumes all go away. Carvers all go away. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven parts are gonna be left in my cycle. I think I'll drop the perils here. Make the deck cleaner and more consistent. Let's go. We can take this win, I believe. We have all of the problems solved. Okay, turn one. Let's... I think I'll play... Top here for now. Or do I play middle? So it's Keeper and then Echo right. Then we drop the rest. To their floor. Oh no, I played that by mistake. I forgot the soul type. Let me... Yeah. I'm sorry about that, guys. I uh, should have... I forgot to play the other card. Okay, so it's soul siphon first. Keeper. And then echo right. And then what we do is we play top twice. And I don't play this until I hatch the egg. I play link middle. Yes. And I get down to four. Uh, so the play here is... Yeah. Space Prism. This guy is the one dealing so much damage to us. Perils. Oh, is the... Is he dying? Yeah, I can't think. Oh, this is sad. Oh, yeah, I can hatch. Am I thinking? I can hatch here. So I play the two carver, keeper, carver top. I shelter to hatch. And I sit on this soul crushing kill. Yep. And then you just have to wait for the. There you go. So it's perils again. Keeper. You drop them. And you have an overstock floor. Yes. So it's. Echo break on the boss. Prism retrieval and ancient resonance. 
Yeah. There you go. You're you were able to assemble the floor now. Fates Keeper at the very back. Perils at the very back. Mortal Trade up front. Yeah, that keeps him alive. You Echo Break. You Blink. And then you Shelter. I get this guy killed. No, he doesn't die. No, what have I done? But that's fine. I am fine with Echo. Um, what do you call this? I'm okay with the bird ring. Kill these guys. They deal too much damage to us. I stun this guy because he put a lot of number drain. Well, ag again. I always forget. I I don't have problems with Ember Drain. And I forgot to play Bounding Echoes again with that guy. Uh, Keeper of Echo? I mean, that buff part. Can I do this in Divinity? Am I secure enough to do this there? There you go. Connected. That's better. Soul crushing guild the boss and we win. It's a W, guys. It is a W. Yes. Ooh. Very, very strong. This would have been safer if I was able to get the damage shield when before I got the tiny stone. Okay. So it's keeper first. No, it's Yeah, keeper first. No, it's Siphon first. Keeper. Echo Rite. Um, I hatch ASAP. Yes, I hatch this turn. Okay, now it's. Two keepers up top, then drop them. I actually can't play both of them. I don't have enough ember. It's only one of them. Can't play the other one. So the play here is... Kill this. Kill that an ancient resonant here and he leaks. Okay, well, there I see my unit. Do I have another one? Oh, yeah, I have more. So What's the play here? I play, and then I pull, but I don't have enough ember. I go transfer here. 
Hmm. So do I just drop one guy right now? Or two, I mean. I redraw anyways, that's fine. Okay, can I leak that set? No, it's gonna overstack. That's a problem. Face prism here. Can I survive that hit? Can say teeth purple that adds fifteen. Not enough. I don't think he survived. Does he survived here. Do not pick this. Oh, that's a lot of hit. Okay, I die here fourteen plus fourteen. 28, 38, 39, 49, 50. 50. Still dead. Or purple. There you go. Survive. Sadly, the other 
Peeper died. Okay. So. Echo transfer. Okay. Play. Yes. Well, that precious plating actually saved the run, did it, it? Yeah, I think it did. Ooh. It dazed the boss here. Yeah, I think we secured the win here. It was a little scary in some combats, but we were able to pull it off. Uh, one more purple here. And I kill all of those. Put this in front. And we win here. Yes, we get the win. It's our 8th win in this series, guys, and I am very happy. Whew. That's a floor. Okay, we enter here and we take the win. Whew. 145 damage taken guys that's a lot of damage let's go to the review summary or run summary and check our check out how we did this run okay that's our eighth win yep eighth win there So let's go to the run summary and check this run out. Okay, so first things first. Uh, we missed a damage shield 3 uh, into our Shard Soul Carver Keeper of Echoes unit because we were thinking of going to another steel shop, which actually we did. Uh, but we ended up getting a tiny stone which allowed us to fit Three, actually almost four of this into the floor. Uh, so that cave in draft was very pivotal here in this run. Bounding echoes, just great. Um, there was a trap here of maybe going into echo transfer instead of perils. Um, I think it was a better pick to go to perils than the echo transfer because immortal trade uh, allowed us to keep our frontline tank alive prism retrieval did not really pan out as i wanted it to soul siphon was a very strong pick it allowed us to allowed us to hatch eggs at around uh turn two with all of the consumed cards that we have soul crushing guilt just see really a very great card double stack minus one don't miss it space prism help consume card echo breaks were there forever for Purple Generation, Echoes of the Past, was a way for us to spend our Echoes because it's only going to one card, Echo Transfer. It's only extracting one, actually. We have Flakes, Remove Consume, helped us in, again, Hatching Eggs Faster, Shelter, same. Ancient Resonance was also very critical here. It allowed us to kill a lot of backlines that could have threatened our run. So always make sure that you have some form of backline clear or strong pings to take out key damage targets in the back of the enemy line. Kevin allowed us to play um, middle floor. We dropped uh, the Keeper of Echoes in from top and then yeah, it's this run. So I guess the stars of this run really are really is precious plating okay if i did not get this relic i would have died 
because we ended up with 35 HP at the very end. And also, shout out to Pyre Wall. It also helped us. So that's extra 55 damage that uh, we have saved. So yeah, eighth win in the run, guys. I'm very happy with this. I hope we get another win soon on our next video. So as always, like. If you all, uh, if you really enjoyed the, this the video, uh, comment for any comments, any optimizations you think I might have been able to do, and subscribe, okay, to the channel for more of this content, okay. I also have a Patreon channel. If you want to help me support me, do that. Uh, the link is in the description below, and yeah. So that's everything I have for you guys today, as always. Remember to siege the day. Thank you very much for watching.